Welcome y'all to DIY Food Plot Pro. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. Please, please, please help me out. Smash that like and subscribe button. Today's video is going to be how to plant alfalfa. If you have not watched my first episode on alfalfa, go back and watch it first. I'm going to post a link. Um, and this is the actual how-to. Some of the things that we're going to be talking about today, lime, fertilizer, um, seeding rates, tillage requirements, and how to cover our seed, okay? So with alfalfa, the very first thing to do is we've got to be planting. This is a long-term play. This is not a short-term play. So right now, okay, mid-February, we're going closing in on March. We're getting real close to spring green up. You need to decide, okay, this is my one, one and a half acre spot that I'm going to plant in alfalfa this fall. What do I need to do? The very first thing you need to do is pull a soil test. That is 1000% key to knowing your soils and being able to grow alfalfa successfully. Pull those soil samples, guys. It's going to save you a lot of time and money and heartache if you don't do it, okay? So pull your soil samples, get your soil results back. Figure out how much fertilizer you need to do, how much fertilizer you need to apply, how much lime well, don't forget about lime, how much lime you need to apply. So if you can at all, you need to be getting your fertilizer and your lime, ag lime preferably, because if you use the pelletized lime, you're going to have to use it every year. You're going to have to take a soil sample every single year, and you're likely going to have to add more lime every year. Get your fertilizer and your lime on this spring where it can go ahead and start changing your soil. This is a long-term play. It's not a Saturday. I'm going to go out there Saturday and I'm going to have it done by Sunday. This is not alfalfa, okay? Get your fertilizer, your lime on, and then um, we're going to talk about the seeding rate. <clears throat> so fertilizer, lime, and then we're going to spray it in the spring. That's the three things that we're going to do this spring. We're going to get those soils changing and we're going to get that grass and junk dying off of it. You need to keep this sprayed through the summer. It won't take all that often, probably once a month, you're going to have to go out there and hit it and kill it um, before all summer long, basically, because it's going to make your job so much easier. So when we're looking at planting dates, we're looking at six to eight weeks before the first freeze. For us, that's mid-October is the first freeze. So I'm talking about mid-August plant dates. One thing that I really encourage and what I like to do is sowing alfalfa before a rain because that time of the year, we all know August can be pretty dry. We want to sow before a rain or I like to sow before a rain. A lot of these things that I'm going to tell you in alfalfa are very similar to the clovers because clover and alfalfa are very similar. Okay, We're looking at 15 to 20 pounds per acre of seed okay and if you're broadcasting as most of us are going to be you probably need to be planting about 20 pounds that needs to be inoculated seed alfalfa inoculant and that also needs to be herbicide tolerant do not forget herbicide tolerant in this deal okay that's both of those are going to make your plot grow a whole lot better and keep them a whole lot cleaner okay so let's talk about what we've done so far soil sample we sprayed we put our fertilizer, we put our lime. Okay, now it's mid-August and we're good to go. Our plot's brown and down, it's ready to go. What do we do? So what I would encourage you to do now, if you have a, a breaking plow, uh, a chisel plow, I would recommend you plowing the soil, okay? If you don't have that, you're gonna have to try to till it and work it as deep as you can. For alfalfa, I want you to have a quality seed bed. I don't want this clumps all over the place. You need This is an expensive crop. You're putting a lot of time, effort, and energy into it. It's going to make your job so much easier. If it's clumpy and there's a bunch of junk all over it, it will germinate. It will. The problem that you're going to have is when you go back and you're clipping it next year, you're going to burr that off at the ground because it's a high spot, right? Your bush hog's going to, and you're going to, a lot of times you're going to kill that alfalfa that's on the high spots. This really needs to be a good flat surface um, when it gets done. It doesn't have to be on a flat spot in the field. It can be a hillside in the field. It just needs to be worked up smooth with minimal clods. Now, 
little farmer trick here that I'm going to teach you. If you'll go out there mid-July and work this ground, if you have a plow, don't try to disc it a whole bunch of times, okay? Plow it, maybe disc it one time to kind of level it back down, and leave it. Leave it for a couple weeks. Get a good, heavy frog strangler rain on it, and when it dries back out, go back in there with your disc then, and you're going to be amazed at how much better that stuff tries to work up. And it's going to get rid of a lot of your clumps for you that you're going to have trouble with. A lot of the troubles that I see with a lot of these plots that people do is they try to go out there in one day and do it and plow it and disc it and disc it and disc it and disc it. And all you're really doing is packing the crap out of your, your ground and you really can't get the clods out. So the best thing to do is to plow it, disc it one time, kind of smooth everything back down and then leave it alone and let it rain on it. A time, a good heavy rain one time is you're good to go. And then all of a sudden you get in there with a disc and it is going to crumple to a million pieces on you and you're going to have a beautiful seed bed. If you don't have a plow, you can till it. I would recommend doing the exact same thing that we just talked about with the, with the plow. Go out there and, and till it as deep as you can till it in July and let it sit there. Keep, keep it sprayed. If it's, if it starts to grow a bunch, cause you're going to have a lot of fertilizer out there. If it starts to grow a bunch, you need to go ahead and kill it. Bam. Keep it sprayed. And then after that big heavy rain, you can go back in there and lightly till the top and it is going to be absolute powder. That's a little farmer trick for you right there. Um, so tillage is a major deal when planting alfalfa that, that needs to be a high quality seed bed. These seeds are tiny. If you have a bunch of ridges and you disc, you're going to get some inch and a half deep and that's too deep for alfalfa. Okay. This needs to be a good, well quality, um, plot. You need to need to have most of the clods out of it. And it's not hard if you follow what I'm doing. I'm telling you, uh, a lot of folks have never seen ground worked up right. But that's how you're supposed to work ground up. You work it and you leave it and you let that pound and rain get back on there and you're going to be absolutely shocked how good a shape your ground is in at that point. So when we go back to seed it, we're going to inoculate that seed and we're going to spread it. What I like to do is set that at 10 pounds per acre. Okay. And then I'm going to go this way all the way across the field. And then I'm going to turn and I'm going to go this way all the way across the field. Okay, so I'm double sowing it so that I don't miss a giant clump out in the middle. Okay, because alfalfa does have an autotoxicity. So if you mess up and you miss a big spot, you're going to be in trouble because you're going to have trouble getting anything to grow in that spot, any alfalfa to grow in that spot. So always double seed it. Then what I personally like to do, if you have a cultipacker, then just roll the cultipacker over top of it. And that will pack everything down and including the seed right before rain, and you are going to be absolutely golden. If you don't have a cultipacker, take your full wheeler or your ranger and drive every single spot. When you get out of that field, you should see a full wheeler track over or a ranger track over the entire farm, the entire field. Okay. That is in what you're doing is you're pushing that seed down into the soil. And you're giving that seed to soil contact. And then you get that rain on it that evening and you are good to go. I don't recommend clipping the first year. You should probably not start clipping until the following spring. So they are going to start hitting it pretty, pretty immediately when it starts coming up. It's real small when it comes up. It almost looks like a clover. And... Uh, the deer are going to start pounding it immediately, but your next year is when you're really going to see the deer really flock to it, and especially in the summertime, uh, in the early spring. But don't clip that stuff that first year. Let it have that time to be able to grow and keep going. You shouldn't have to spray anything that first year. Uh, so the first year, all the work and all the money goes into establishing that plot. And then the second year is when all of a sudden then you need to start spraying for bugs. You need to start spraying for weeds. You need to be checking soil samples to make sure that you don't, your P and your K hasn't dropped and your lime hasn't dropped. And if it has, you better be getting that stuff up. And so, I mean, there's a lot of things in clipping as well. You're going to have to clip 
pretty regular. When you start seeing those purple blooms come out, it's time to clip it. Do not wait and don't wait a week or two and say, well, I'll get to it next week. When it starts to purple, when then purple blooms start coming out, you better be getting a bush hog hooked to the tractor and bush hogging it, okay? So that is how to alfalfa. Um, leave me some comments in the, in the comment section. I'd be glad to help you in any which way I can. Smash that like and subscribe button if you found this channel useful and helpful to you. We're going to try to grow this. I'm going to start episodes this summer. I'm going to show you all these plots that I'm doing personally on all my farms. And I'm going to take you with me. And my first episode's coming out here in the next few weeks. Uh, episode one, soil test and decision making for food plots. So thank you guys. Y'all have a great day and come back. See us real soon.